welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be playing some f125 the game is available in early access if you bought the iconic edition or you can even try the f1 trial if you have ea access so that's what i'm doing i uh, intend to buy the game but i always like to try it out first and demos and trials are very good tools to make sure you, you're making a good decision I'm going to go through the in-game settings that I'm using. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160. 120 hertz, 16 times I need to shop it filtering. I'm using NVIDIA DLSS at the balance preset. No native because I'm going to be using path tracing and it is insanely demanding on this game. And if you want to get a 60, XP, 60 FPS experience, sorry, you do need to at least uh, use some upscaling, even with an RTX 5090. So. No dynamic upscaling being done here. Frame generation is available all up for 4X, so natively supports DLSS 4, which is nice to see. And as you can see, I have path tracing on. And it actually says path tracing is a high fidelity advanced lighting option for high end GPUs only, so don't get mad if you are unable to use this. And you can see all of the ray, trace, ray tracing individual options are grayed out because path tracing governs every single one of them. Game says ray trace reconstruction as auto. The only options you have is off or auto, so I guess it automatically is on. Everything else is ultra high, where highest or high where highest, and then video reflex is on as well. So that is pretty much it. Also, worth mentioning the game has an audio quality option as well. I've put that to ultra high, so don't skimp on that as well, just to get the best experience. I'm going to jump straight in now. Okay, so I'm just going to choose a Grand Prix. F125. I think I'll go with one of my favorite tracks. Belgium, Spa Francochon. Also, we're going to go with a Prancing Horse. Like both drivers, but as a Brit, I'm going with Lewis Hamilton. Nestled in the Ardennes forest waits an absolutely classic challenge. A throwback, and unashamedly so. The reputation of Spa Francorchamps speaks for itself. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Belgian Grand Prix. And alongside me today, former Formula One driver and former world champion too. See, told you I'd give you a big intro. Anthony Davidson, hello. Look, we know it's not where you start, it's where you finish, but let's talk about the start now. What's there to help the drivers get away well? Big pressure at the start of the race, Crofty, for all of them up and down the grid, no matter where you are. But the drivers these days, they practice, practice and practice. They have rigs with them at the circuit where they can sit down with the, with the actual steering wheel from the real car. And they've got lights that they react to. The clutch paddle is uh, tailored around the driver's hands, around their fingers, so they can have optimum position before they start. So there's so much thought and effort that goes into getting these cars off the line. It looks awesome now that it's fully next gen. Radio check, please. Radio check. Radio check. Let's do this. I'm going to get a good start here. Not a bad start. See if I can get past my teammate in the first corner. Don't want to make any collisions. I had a little bump with George Russell, but I didn't damage any of the bodywork, so it's okay. The worst start in the world. Up over Rouge now. Yeah, no problem. I can still use my battery, but I can't use DRS until the next lap. Able to displace that first Mercedes at least. We've got Piastri and Sonoda ahead of me. McLaren this year is just unstoppable. They're going to win the Constructors and the World Championship. And they'll probably have both of the drivers come 1-2. So this is going to be the clean sweep. Unless Max can do something about it. There's Lewis and Leclerc, or Russell. All these boys not even at the races at the moment. So if I can get past Piastri, up the inside maybe. A little bit too far back. 
take my time. One thing I will say, the handling was completely different from last year's game. It's going to try to go up the inside, but just about did that without contact. Um, so what you'll find is in the low gears, like gear one and two, um, there's so much torque there that you really have to be exceptionally gentle for it. The wheel spin just turns your car um, and you start going off the track. Also, when you're tucked up behind the racers ahead of you, it really does affect the downforce. You start feeling that the front end gets a little bit more slippery. We can now use DRS. DRS now available. DRS will help me get past snow. You don't want to spend too much time tucked up behind these guys. I'm just going to use the battery now just to get past the Noda. And chase down, probably lap towards Lando Norris, I think, in the lead. Not quite in the DRS zone yet, a little bit, a little bit closer. But I've got five laps to do it. Sonoda with great straight line speed. Probably had DRS. But back ahead of me so I can't just take these overtakes for granted I need to start building a lead once I get them look out for a bit of understeer when trailing the car ahead they're going to be giving off dirty air which is going to affect our tyres so try to get past yep I know right just got to get past some over fairly simply Oh, you can show me what you got. What are you now, mate? Oh, you've got to give me space. Right, after Good Lando job. now. Nice overtake. Try and get in his DRS range so I can really reel him in. A Honda power engine, though, is pretty serious. I don't want to. Let Yuki Sonoda buy again. Very slippery around here, you've got to be careful with your acceleration. Okay. Good job, that was the fastest lap of the race so far. I need to put in a few more of those if I want to catch and keep the lead. I'm using the battery here to try and Accelerate my way past Norris, but I want to pick a better time. I don't want to crash into him and lose body parts. See that beep means I'm in the DRS zone now, so rear wing open. Sail past him, up the inside. Job done. Scuderia Ferrari 25, feeling real good on this game. Definitely one of the better cars. Okay, see if I can build a bit of a lead now. Sometimes you underestimate just how much downforce these cars have got. I'm kind of breaking or just leave, letting the throttle go where I don't need to because I'm a bit worried that I'm not going to be able to keep it on the track, but the traction is unbelievable. Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. I will, just in the low gears. That's where it's most effective. Okay, doing well. You can hear the car bottom him out as well, because it's just banging across the floor. A good detail that they've added. Use some of the battery now just to power out of these low gears. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Well done. Let's right, see if we can improve on the last one. I'm getting a bit more confidence now. I had to back off a little bit up O Rouge last time because of Lando. But now Lando's not here. Should just be able to go up it, no problem. Just about kept it nice and clean. 
If I haven't mentioned already, I'm using my PlayStation 5 control pad if you're wondering why the inputs are not that smooth. Um, I do have a wheel, but you know, I'm a casual race, so I don't really care to set it up. They're doing good, though. And Lewis is bringing this one home. Yeah, handling does feel considerably different than F124. It's a little bit of getting used to. Trying to get the hang of it though. No one to slow me down ahead, now I can really start to push. You to be very careful with the inputs on the, the lower gears because that's when you really put yourself off the track. Got a lot of battery energy so I can burn some of that off. Got purple in the first sector so I might even be faster than my last lap. That's what good break. Maybe I can break a little bit later. Barely kept that on the road. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Right, let's try to bring it home nice and clean. Gap to your teammate behind. 0 0.0 seconds. Break at the 100 meter board. It was a bit too early for this car. I think we could have done the 50 meter board to be honest. Car has got very good brakes. Maybe off to get away with the LSS quality. Honestly, this looks pretty good. The game did say you need an RTX 5080 just for 1080p fast racing at 60 FPS natively, of course. So you're better off using the LSS4 Transformer model and the LSS Balance at 4K to get a better image on 1080p. And of course, on RTX 5090, you're going to get more than 60 FPS. I mean, it feels nice. It feels nice and smooth. Um, I'll probably try and do this with the DLSS quality maybe, but you're going to need some form of upscaling 100%. There's no way you can do this native with path racing. Anyway, bringing it home now. For the win. I'm happy with that. Checkered flag. Absolutely awesome. Just amazing, mate. Well done. Well, guys, this goes to everyone back at the team, the factories. Thank you so much for continuing. And Lewis Hamilton so takes the check of flag and once again wins. There's a long way to go, but let's keep pushing, guys. I believe in you. Thank you. They had to be decisive with their overtaking today as they worked their way through the field. And those kind anyway, of race guys, victories are so interesting. That's pretty much it for me. Hopefully, like you enjoyed the, the video. Front, and as always, really had to thanks for watching. Today. time for our podium celebrations and as ever in formula one three is the magic number it's a familiar sight in formula one and here it is once again lewis hamilton with a trophy held high celebrating a masterful victory